I uh, haven't decided if I'm going to post this on Christmas itself, Christmas Eve, or just like a few days prior um, to give, you know, time for people to watch it and sort of take in the message. But whichever I've decided upon, um, Christmas is imminent. The, 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 the day is coming. It's somehow, somewhat and somehow, definitely very near. And a point I wanted to discuss is... Christmas to the secular and non sort of commodity um, consuming which you know the, the the big question is well why why would they celebrate it you know um, they don't have to and of course they don't have to you don't have to celebrate it if you are non-religious if you're not Christian just as you don't have to celebrate you know Eid or Hanukkah or Yom Kippur or whatever you know you don't have to celebrate it but Christmas is a bit different from the those others mentioned because Christmas has very much taken over the secular world. Christmas is the one holiday that started sort of as a religious one, but is one that you can't avoid in secular living. You know, it overtakes every TV channel, you know, every workplace, every street corner has Christmas lights up, you know, there's no other season that does that. Therefore, even if you um, are non are non sec uh, if even if you are secular you can't really avoid the case and when it's everyone's uh, sort of on it and you just don't celebrate it because you're not christian you you do get that oh you're just being you know you're just being a humbug you're just being like oh the grinch and all that but like um you don't have to of course not but there are other ways to celebrate it without the religious aspects and definitely modern day christmas is very devoid of many of the religious um aspects and many non-christians uh, followers of other faith do partake in the secular side of christmas which is uh you know the the just season of goodwill without being you know within christian moral just kind of um being charitable um being festive in in turn and you know you can be sort of uh just you know, in the jolly mood without the, you know, nativity story backing your entire belief. You can just, I know it's a bit weird to have just, you can have it just as a season where you're nicer than usual, which is kind of weird because you're expected to be nice at all times, but I mean, who really is, you know? But we can go out of our way just to be nice in this one period, even if it's not for the reason to celebrate the birth of Jesus, just because everyone else is doing it. And, you know, you do get positive merits, which we should never be working for merits. Of course, we should never should be, but, oh, it's nice when we do. And also, non-commodity consuming, well, there, there's... As I said, it's many of these secular, uh, non-secular aspects of Christmas, the Christian um, traditions have begun to fade away, which have been actually replaced with the consumerist commodity um, culture of Christmas. You know, you must buy presents, you must buy expensive things, you must decorate with expensive decorations, you must put a lot of money into the process, but you don't have to. Yes, it seems like the societal expectation to, and of course it's a societal expectation to, we live in a capitalist class society, but there's there's no need for that and there are ways to celebrate christmas whilst being you know cost effective cost devoid and entirely ethical in consumption and production you can make presents i think people forget that you can make something that costs you nothing yet is a hundred times more valuable than just buying someone a lynx africa set and bunning them off like that you know, with with ethically sourced paper and ethically sourced paints, um, you can, you know, produce art piece or you can just write someone something, you know, on, on you know, something, something like hemp paper, it's ethically, a lot, well, not ethically, but a lot more ethically than bark paper produced um, products. But you can just, you know, give someone something that isn't bought and, if you put enough effort into it, it becomes valuable, you know, and it's the thought that counts and it's what matters, you know, so don't, you don't have to, and you really shouldn't, even if you aren't concerned with consumer, uh, consumerism or, you know, uh, ethical production, you should just try not to, because it's just a, a toxic trait to run through the narrative of society. So, you know, just be nice and, you know, give things that actually matter and just don't have a high price tag because 
it's good to be and it's better to be. Um, so that's how you can celebrate Christmas whilst being a secular and a non-commodity consumer. And, you know, as conservative, uh, not conservative, as controversial as it might sound, a better person.